Yo 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 what's up guys back again with me Mato Today's video I'm gonna show you of my process design by combining and manipulating all these images To become like this I will use some new technique obtained from my practice last week That are very simple and can make a really cool grungy style over all your design by measuring this technique will also make it easier for you in the t-shirt printing process. So stick with me until the end, let's get started, come on! Alright, now I'm gonna drop all my images into my document. I'll try to make composition and assembling all these images become like this. I think I have something cool idea to start with and really hope that's become really really epic results. By the way, I put the download links for all these images in the description below. Now I'm gonna speed it up this process little bit so stay tuned. Alright, after all the images have been arranged into the composition that I want, now I'm gonna balance all the images colors so they look blended and pop together. Usually I'll make it a low saturation by hue saturation and drag it all the way down. I also play with level to increase the contrast value and to bring out the details that exist in each image. In this way, you need a lot of time to balancing the contrast between images. You have to decide where you need more contrast or more lighter in your composition images. Alright, after all the colors in the image is balanced, because all these images just to be stacked to each other, I want to make it more lively and blend together by adding smooth shadow of it. Usually I use the brush tool with a little bit of black to make a soft shadow and spread it in some spots of the design area. Alright, in this section, I want you to pay attention this time because this step is the most important before we move on to the next technique. Okay, I select all my layers 
and group it into a folder so I can get confused when I want to find my layers. I give it a name and duplicate the folder it just for a backup plan if I get the bad things happen so I don't have to start over from beginning again now I convert the folder to smart object and select camera row filter I just play randomly with slider over there because this image has the black and white I just want to increase a little bit of exposure, shadow and the highlight and this is the key I create up the texture, clarity and the haze value more highly to bring out the more detail of my image Alright now I add a noise and on a sharp mask little bit to increase the contrast and get more detail of my image Alright now it's time to add the color to my image Before I start it I duplicate 3 times to my main layer I divide it into 3 different layer and name it with dark color, mid light and high light I've prepared a color palette as a reference when I'm going to add color to each layer later I'm going to start by getting a darker best color With dark color layer selected I click a small icon at the bottom And select threshold I crack down to threshold level to the left I don't wanna have too much detail for this Clipping mask it with my dark color layer And merge it by convert to smart object now go for select, pick color range, moving your mouse over the black spot, hit that, crank all the way up the fuzziness to 200 and hit OK. Now my object has been selected, create a layer mask and command I for invert the layer mask. Now add the solid color, clipping mask it. And pick the dark color that I have prepared earlier, which is a dark purple. Do it the same with the mid light layer. Now I put the slider around the middle area so I can get more detail right now. Add the solid color, clipping mask it, and pick the mid color that I have prepared earlier, which is a candy red. Go to select and hit color range Hit the black spot again Add the layer mask And import the layer mask by command I Do it again with the highlight layer Now I create all the way up the threshold level So I just left a little white spot that can get more more detail again Clipping mask it Go to select and hit color range Hit the black spot again Add the layer mask and import the layer mask by command I As you can see if I turn off the background layer The image has been beautifully separated by colors By the way if you wanted to deep dive no more about this technique Leave a comment below I will make full tutorial video for all this technique On to the next step, let's add some of text for being a title for this design. And to the final touch up, let's add some of my grungy texture of it to get extra detail and also painting a highlight to the text so it will look more perfect when I see this design in the end. Now you will see me start a little bit so stay tuned.
Alright guys, I got perfect adjustment to the design and honestly the result is so amazing. I'm really happy with it. So let's put it into my premium black shirt mockup to display it my design and see if I'll be quite satisfied with the end result. Let's go! Alright guys, so that it's all for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll be uploading another video later this week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one. Peace.